Hi guys, so I just want to share with you the final swap sign-up list. Um, the swap sign-up ended yesterday. Um, so I just want to go with that really quickly. And then I had to, a few things I still wanted to play with, so I thought, well, I might as well make a video and we'll do a few more things for <laughs> my little books. Um, so I happen to have them here, and actually I'm going to switch some of these things out. I'm going to just fill this one up with flowers on the top, so I'm going to put this over here, and then make a black glittery poof for over here too. And I might even bust out one of my vintage typewriters. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, and some other things. Uh, so let me put these to the side. So any of those items, not the vintage typewriter, but like I'm going to use this stuff from Tonic. Um, I'll have the links in the description box. Again, that's just below the video. You can click on uh, description box or show more, uh, the title of the video. If you're, you know, it just depends what you're using to watch. Those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing so those links. I actually found this farmhouse paper pad I was looking. I'm telling you guys, it's always like serendipity. I'm looking for something else or I'm putting something away and something catches my eye and I'm like, oh, that looks very autumn. And I told you guys I don't even know where my fall papers are. Basically, I had destashed most of them. And I was looking at them like, oh, these are cute little things that are in here. And I mean, you look at even the sunflowers. Aw. Um, I might use that. Uh, but the very front, it had these little tags I can cut or little journaling spots. So I'm going to do that and put it in my uh, swap too. So it's things like that. Uh, I'm finish up a couple other projects, including something I need to use these things for. But um, real quickly, this is why you know I've learned <laughs> with this and with uh, with this journal, this swap, uh, this TN, and then um, just my regular journal. My um, is it Mambi? Right? My plan, the Happy Planner, whatever. Isn't Mambi me and my big ideas? I know it's Mambi, but I don't know what the name of the planner um, thing is. But anyway. And I've been buying them like every year since a long time. Um, it, it is nice to have paper clips, of course, or some way to flip to the pages that you want, even though it does have tabs on the side. So um, I now I know why we need at least a few paper clips. Maybe I should up the thing to like three paper clips next time. I always say at least one, but it's very important to have paper clips. And they're cuter when they're cute. So, um, all right. And I got these in a previous swap. So thank you. So this is the list, and I was like, maybe I should read them, but I'm sure I'm going to destroy people's names. So I'd rather just put it here, and if you guys could just kind of look over the list. <laughs> and hopefully it's bright enough and all that, I don't know. So starting with Teresa here. Uh, Diana and uh, Mandy, I have not crossed you guys out. I'm holding out hope, but um, if it doesn't work out, just uh, let me know. So that's the first page, and then we'll look at the second page. Oh, Sherry, you know, um, this gal here, Sherry uh, Black. I happened to catch her video. Sherry has a video on, I think, one of her books. It's really adorable. She did such a sweet job and with a lot of personal touches, you know, uh, handmade things. It's, it's really sweet. So if you want to check her out, I will try and recall or at least to put it in the comments or something, uh, her name there so you can find her. And if anybody else makes a video on their swap, let me know, you guys. Um, I would love to add them or the info, you know. And then we have here. I think those are the only um, other things that maybe somebody had dropped out or was going to or something like that. Okay, so that's the final list. It was probably like about 45 people, eh, give or take. Okay, so a few things. I am going to fire up... No, we'll do that last. No. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> what I want to do is put cute little... Um, poly bag headers it says so basically if you have poly bags or something or if you want to put this on top to make it look like it's packaged um that's what this is about and this is a set that i picked up from tonic myself as a bundle it was really big the bundle is sold out but they do have individual items they're also on craft stash some of the things craft stash of course it will take a little bit longer to get to you but because uh, they're in the uk it'll get to you i'll have the links to the tonic and craft stash stuff whatever's available tonic did come out with some new things that have to do with the loaded pockets but they're more like like little flip books and things like that. Uh, super cute. And yeah, it has um, the three different sizes. And let me see. I want to see what it said because I think it said cuts all of these whole elements. Oh, I see. Because, okay. And not about different sizes. They look different, but these are the same. So one, two, three different sizes. Let me back up. Why am I so close? Oh, because of the <laughs> names. Um, so, oh, that's perfect. It's a little bit big, but they, uh, that's okay. Actually, I could trim off the edges, couldn't I? Yeah, all right. So I wasn't thinking about using the drop-ins because I'm just going to use uh, pretty papers. So I had seen that Teresa had done that on her, or done that, did that, and I said, I don't even know what I said. But anyway, on her um, swap last time, so I was like, oh, that's so cute. So I'm going to use these and just 
real quick. And I'm assuming, since um, you know they're pretty easy to use, there are no... Um, oh, actually, well, hmm. I'll say that is how you get your edge cut. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. Yep, right here. <laughs> There's, I was like, how do we cut the edge? The edge is right here. So we need both of these pieces. And what I'll need to do is grab some decorative paper. Um, I was going to mention on this, I'm going to make another paper clip with a sunflower. And I just cut this piece of paper, you know, piece of cloth. Um, felt, should I say. I'm going to cut it into a circle. But this set, I'm telling you, I'm always like seeing new, new things in these loaded pockets that I'm like, what the heck? This little guy, we could cut this with. Or the larger one. Well, I cut my piece already smaller. Oh, maybe. Um, and that already makes it so that you can pop it on the back. And it's basically for, for this set, right? So you can put it in the center if you want it or help, have it help you put your little um, rosettes together. But I, I really, I'm finding new things in these sets all the time. So what I'm going to do is grab some decorative paper and we'll cut a few of those because I do need a couple um, for each. Uh, swap that I'm making, but I'll grab. I went to grab my paper pack, and these pieces just fell out. And I said, you know what, works for me. <laughs> so they literally just. Whenever I cut paper up, and I don't know how you guys do. It. If it's a big piece, or even those little ones, I shove them back in here. Um, so there's just tons of pieces, and those just fell out. And I'm like, works, works for me. Okay, um, I'll use this side. That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know if we're supposed to run these two at the same time because they don't really lay into each other. You don't want them to do that. Like, I can't put this in here and think, oh, I'm going to run that through because those two pieces of metal. So maybe it's best if you run one through and then run the other. Um, since I haven't used these before, I'll think about it. So now we have to make room, of course, for that part. So right now what I'm doing is just eyeballing that. I'll just run them through separately. So for now, all I'm going to do is run through this part. And then I'll add the the edges. So if you were using a drop-in, I would add that right now just so that you would have one of them cleared away already, you know? Sorry, yeah, so I would put it in on this opposite side. Obviously this side has this piece of metal tab that you can't really put this one in. So I would, if I was going to use this one, I would go ahead and put it on this side, run it through so you already have that pass. Maybe you would cut the back, maybe you wouldn't cut the back, I don't know. It just depends on what you want to do with this, right? But um, I just want to make sure I have enough paper behind this. Okay, I'm just going to run this through just the way it is, and I'll be right back. I had to sit here and wait because my neighbor, for some reason, his car alarm keeps going off. And I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, not all the time, but just like every 15, 20, 30 minutes. So I'm removing this, and I can kind of see what's going on here. So, sorry. Again, I'm, um, I'm just looking at this, and I think what I'm going to do is put this on this side and only cut that so that this way it looks like this, right? This little pop-up area. Is towards the front? Is that how it's intended? Let's look at the picture. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. So I'm going to just cut the back straight across or whatever is going to be in the back. And I'm not going to use drop in because I just want it to be like this. And I don't know what all I said, but I had to pause. So that always throws me off. All right. There's that. I can still hear my kids walking around up there. I don't know what they're doing. And what I'm going to do, just so I can get this in the marquee, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and cut this part off. And as close as I can here, I could just use the guillotine and cut it already, but I think that's it. And let's run this through. And I'm going to check on these children and why I keep hearing movement. I'll be right back. Okay. Aww, so cute. Actually, I cut that pretty straight. I guess I could just nick this off. And no one's none the wiser. I'm just gonna fold that over. How cute! And that'll just be like a little thing. This is, I think, from uh, Michaels. And I'm just gonna glue this on. And actually, I'm not gonna glue it with wet glue because I want it to just move on to the next thing. So I am going to use a little of this. So this is just an adhesive. I'm gonna put it up there, up there, and then just down around here. And I think that'll do it. And you're just going to be high up as you like or wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put it like right there. There. Just a little, little cover. <laughs> That's really cute. Alright. So I'm going to do that same kind of thing with uh, the other things that I have in the Halloween set. And let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. You know what, Mom? I 
glue gun is heating up, I am also going to do one other thing that I think will be fun, is the little bobbins. Why not? I'm going to put some little twine on there. So like I said, each thing should have like three, and mine's going to have more than that, and most time you guys send in usually has more than that, but three types of embellishments that people can then use. Um, so let's use this. And somebody asked if I would do a loaded pocket soon or things like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I know it takes time, so that's why I'm, you know, I already did the traveler's notebooks and those take time. So just give me a moment and I will get to it. But I'm trying to see which of these fits better in my book. One's slightly smaller. That one's three and a half. Eh, they're about the same. It's just that it's rounded, so it looks smaller. But, um, let's do this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, people <laughs> ask how I store these afterwards. Um... It just depends. If I have a casing for it, I'll put it in there. I do have a lot of the uh, tonic cases. Like this one just did not work out. A lot of times I can put it right back on there, but this was not working. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to run this through real quick. It has embossing. So if you want to put a piece of foam in there for the marquee to especially get that embossing in there, then go for it. I'm just going to do it like this. And then I'm going to wrap around some of this twine, which I think is fun. Aww, the embossing got on there pretty well already. I don't know if you can see that. So cute. So again, you can hit this with some ink if you want. Um, I'm just going to go for it, I think, nice and clean. And I'm just going to add some of what's in my stash here. Now, what I'm going to do to start this off, because I'll put two different colors on here, is I'm going to put a little bit of this tape just to hold that down so I don't have to keep bothering with it. Once you start wrapping around and around, it'll start staying on its own. But And whoever gets this can still take it off pretty easily, even though there's a little piece of glue there. So I'm going to continue wrapping this around and around, and then I'm going to add a different color on the top. Sorry, I might, I don't even know if I was in camera, sorry guys, or in camera, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a little warm today, so it makes my brain a little scrambled, sorry. There we go. And now there's a plane flying over. Alright, I'll put another color on top of here and I'll be right back. Okay, I have a bunch of stuff starting to pile up now. I'm telling you that person, whatever, their car keeps going off, and now they're out there messing with it. Oh, I was like, where'd this come from? Who knows? <laughs> you know, something cute. Okay, so I'm just going to put one of these guys, and people ask me where I got these paper clips. It says Daiso right on there, Daiso Japan. I know they're super cool, but um, they might be hard for you to find. They might be on their website. Um... And they might want you to buy them in bulk, which is fine. Whenever I go, I pick up like three or four at a time. Now that I found those, those are something new, at least new in my Daiso. All right, so I'm just going to make another little topper here. Just find like the center, whatever you would consider the center of one of these little guys. This one's a little bit harder to find than others. I think this is hot enough already. Yep. Ah! And then just pop that in there. <laughs> And that's that. I was thinking about putting googly eyes on this. That'd be kind of cute. But, um, there it is. That's one. And this guy. And I'm just going to back it up with a cute little piece of felt that I just cut by hand. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to try my typewriter. I actually have a new one that I recently acquired. It's not new because they're vintage, but, um, we'll see how it goes. I think this is actually a sticker. That's okay. Well, maybe I should take it off because that's paper back just in case it comes off later, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that was a sticker. And I'm trying to see if I need to put this about here. Actually, since I'm going to use this to really stick it down, I'm going to give it a little bit of room. Oh my gosh, I've been having so much fun, you guys. Hopefully you checked out the LDRS video I made, even if... Yeah, it's so sweet. Do I have any other things? I was trying to see if I have the card here. I already put it away. I've been trying to keep up with putting things away. <laughs> here we go. Sorry. 
just waiting for this to hold up. I'm not sure exactly where I paused. The children are very active today, you guys. I think they know they're going back to school on Tuesday, and they're like, what can we do around here? I could clean up a little bit of this goopy. I don't want to use that. I keep looking for a scrap of paper that I can use. But now that it's starting to set up, it's harder to remove. Okay. And there is another paper clip. Um, I think that was it that I was going to put on paper clips. Hopefully, because I don't want to fire this up again later, later, but that's okay. I'm going to go grab my one of my typewriters. I'll be right back. Okay, I know this is going to be very hard to see because I have a bunch of machines behind me. I can't move this much further back. Um, this isn't even one of my fancy ones. This is a little Galaxy Smith Corona Galaxy Deluxe. Should have brought out my Adler. Ooh, I have some that type script even, but maybe I should do it just this way. I know. That's probably as good as it's going to get. Um, okay, so let's move on. This is just a piece of cardstock, and we'll see what happens because... I don't even know where the margin is on this, but I don't think it matters. I don't play with these in a way that I'm going to write a letter. <laughs> so for me, it's like, as long as it types, I'm happy. Uh, I'm just going to run that through. Like, I don't even know if it's set up right now to hold the paper. It's on single spacing. I can see that. Um, and I'm just going to type a bunch of words. And then I don't know if I'm going to cut them up. Maybe put them in a little bag. And I don't know how you type, but I'm a hunt and pet kind of girl. <laughs> so I just wrote the word dream. Let's say, um, what is another good word? Um live period oh the period gets stuck huh all right give it some room um what else can we write ah love l-o-v-e i'm doing it all oopsie uh lowercase see mm -hmm. you know what i just realized when this came in i haven't done my operations on it you guys which is usually to clean it up really well make sure everything's kind of moving uh, and doing its thing so i guess we'll look at it together um I'm putting some periods, sometimes I'm not, sometimes it's feathering and ghosting, which is really cool. Um, what other words do we like? Fall. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the next line, and maybe one more. Um, again, I can control that up here if I wanted to. Uh, what other words are good? I can't think of any. <laughs> Harvest. Because I know y'all are farmers, you're going to be harvesting out there. Um, so I'm just going to think of a ton of words that I can type up. And then um, I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've got it all what I want. Um, how do we release this? Do you guys remember? Just make it easy to pull it out. There we go. Something like that. Okay, not too bad. I had to have to play with the ribbon a little bit. I never got the We Are Memory Keepers one because I have old ones I don't need theirs um, and it's really cute which reminds me I have their sewing machine that I never that's so happy this also has its own case so I'm gonna go put this back in the case real quick I'll be right back I'll be right back so that's a newer model y'all <laughs> it's fancy it even has an and sign I have some that come from Germany which are so cool because they have the U with like the umlaut and they have like um or the really old um What's the thing called? Uh, keyboard, where it used to be, like now we have the QWERTY board, right? And that one has a V, I think, instead of the U. It's there in different positions, so it's kind of fun. Um, okay, so like I said, I was going to include some of these little things. I'm going to use a smaller guillotine. This is the newer one that I kept. I got rid of the older, new, the older little one that I had of this. Um, we'll see how this one goes. Oh, I didn't even measure that. It's probably three inches, right? If that's a six-inch paper pad. Maybe not, because <laughs> now that I have it here, it's like smaller than three inches. So I'm going to cut these up and put them in my book, too. Yeah, that's weird. See how this one has the area? Did I cut it off right here? No, I didn't. Yeah. What is going on? I cut it from here, huh? That's weird. The top didn't have color. That's very odd. Um, this little guy that I just typed up a bunch of different things. I messed up in one of them. I forgot to do a double spacing, so I did that set of words again. So I'm just going to cut this and then not use that part. But yeah, I think I'll go through and just cut them up. Make it easy for whoever has this. i to play with them. And I just figure people can pop them in wherever they want. Maybe take some marker or some pen and make some more little lines and stuff and make it fun. So I'm just going to cut these up in little pieces and then probably put them in a baggie and then pop one of those um, <laughs> handy dandy little... Uh, cute um, things that we just made, the little hang taggy. I can't even find where I put it. Um, let me clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm just showing you this one. Of course we have this little guy. I still have to do my little work with him. Actually, we have this last one here. 
you just worked on. I'm just shoving them in there. I'm not sure exactly where that's going, but for now it'll be there. And then I'm going to make a little cover for that, just like I did for this one. And I'm going to put one more flower on here just to make it really extra on the top there. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I forgot that we had these little pockets. So let's put this in here. Some fun stuff. Put some other little things in here. Of course, I like to do that at the reveal. Um, this little guy, I don't know if it's going to fit like this. I might have to go a different way. There we go. I'll tuck that in better, too. And then we have this. Ooh. Cute. Um, then I'm going to put another one of those basically on this thing. Probably the next size up. Um, what I was trying to say is if... Uh, you need it to be shorter like let's say it was kind of big for like this packaging like this one's too small the next one might be too big I just cut the edges you know um, so it's skinnier for you uh, I'll probably type up more words and then for the Halloween one I'll do like scary words that'll be fun and then I'll put a little cover on that and then I just need to make one more um, what's it called one more uh, paper clip for me because like I said you need to have at least one but Alright guys, if you have joined, um, please make sure to get your swaps in by the 18th. The 18th is the last day to send it in. Not for it to be here at me, to me, but for you to actually put it in the mail, right? So you have all this weekend and then up until mid next week, which is the 18th. Uh, I know some of you guys have already gotten yours in the mail, so thank you so much. That's awesome. Um, I'll have uh, whatever links that might be pertinent in the description box. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Alright, bye now.